Welcome back to Movie Recap Factory. Today, I will talk about an action crime drama film from 2013 titled Hummingbird. Without further ado, let's get started. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Former Special Forces soldier Joseph Smith is now a homeless alcoholic pretending to be Joe Jones in London after leaving his squad while serving in Afghanistan. When some goons try to beat Joey and his homeless neighbor Isabel, Joey retaliates and runs away from the place. To save his life, he breaks into an apartment and finds no one there. After bathing and changing clothes, Joey learns from a message that the owner, Damon, will not return to his home until October, giving Joe some time to spend life away from the streets. After finding Damon's credit card, Joey heads his way out to get some money and rescue Isabel from the goons. While searching for her, Joey finds a nun, Christina, who also runs a soup kitchen and knows Joey from the streets. Seeing Joey in nice dressing, Christina decides to call her police liaison officer, David, but Joey places $500 on her table and leaves. As Joey has advised Christina to spend the money on herself, she heads her way to book a ticket for Maria Zelinska's farewell performance. Because the tickets have already been sold out, only one box is available, worth $500. As ballets her passion, she purchases the box. On the other hand, Joey wakes up with a bunch of hummingbirds flying in the room and a dead body hanging from a rope. Getting flashbacks of his harsh memories from his services in Afghanistan, Joey gets upset and begins to shoot fires at the birds. But these are merely the visions and hallucinations he often experiences after the terrible incident that happened to him and his crew in Afghanistan. As Joe has two broken ribs, he experiences pain due to infection around one of the brakes, which will worsen if it reaches the bone. While walking in front of Christina's shop, Joey asks for help, but Christina wants Joey to go to an emergency instead of getting medicine illegally. Joey explains to her that he is on the run from a court-martial, and if the officials learn about his presence, he will never be forgiven. When Joey insists, Christina decides to help him with antibiotics. Joey inquires about Isabel's whereabouts, to which Christina responds that she hasn't come to the food point for days and no one knows where she is. When Joe puts his number on the street walls to find Isabel, she calls Joey and informs him that she is alright and has gotten work from the goons. After thanking Joey for looking for her around, Isabel tells him that she will contact him after returning from London, but it seems like she is in the wrong hands. Damon's neighbors get suspicious about Joey and warn him to open the door, otherwise they will call the cops. Opening the doors, Joey pretends to be Damon's boyfriend and informs the woman that Damon has offered him to stay in his apartment until he returns from New York. After a chat, Joey successfully makes the neighbors believe he's not lying. Soon, Joey starts working at a Chinese restaurant to make ends meet. When a group of thugs do not leave the restaurant late at night, Joey kicks them out and beats them, revealing to the manager that he is worth something. After Joey impresses the owner of a Chinese restaurant with his fighting powers, Mr. Choi hires him as a driver to transport narcotics and collect extortion money. As Joey earns money from his job, he keeps saving a specific amount to deliver tasty free food to the homeless people who come to Christina's shop. Through his humanitarian work, he gets the nickname Crazy Joe the Angle from needy people. After finding his daughter's mother and his ex-girlfriend Dawn, Joe gives her money for being absent for years. As Dawn suffered from financial crisis over these years, she is mentally exhausted. But seeing Joey again with money has given her a new hope to live. While Joey prepares barbecue for Christina, he learns that Officer David has found a dead body which needs identification. The girl turns out to be Isabel, who was murdered and thrown into the river. Joey gets infuriated, but Christina tells him that he is a hypocrite if he dares to get angry about Isabel. As Christina knows everything about Joey's shady business, she claims that Joey has a role in Isabel's death because her autopsy report says she was drugged. She requests Joey to leave the drug dealing and start an honest life. To trace Isabel's killers, Joey heads his way to the old street and inquires the thugs about the murderer. When they deny sharing anything, Joey beats them until they spit out that Isabel is murdered by her regular client. As they do not know her name, they inform Joey that the man is in his 30s and has a scar over his eye. After learning about the city boy, Joey leaves the place. The following day, Joey invites Christina to a party to share the killer's information so she can deliver it to Officer David. Christina gets drunk and kisses Joey after the party. It seems both are attracted to each other, but Christina hesitates as a nun. Against Christina's advice, Joey keeps working for Mr. Choi to collect the tax money. When an Italian restaurant owner denies giving money to Joey directly, he knocks him down until he gets the money box. The owner's son tries to stop Joey, but he gets shot in the arm, involving police in the matter. After the incident, two policemen approach Christina and inquire about Joey's whereabouts, to which she denies knowing anything. When Christina returns home, Joey accompanies her at night, where he learns that police are finding him everywhere. Christina is still angry with Joe for not leaving his shady business behind. While driving, Christina bursts into tears and tells Joey about what happened to her when she was a kid. She wanted to become a ballerina, but her father made her do gymnastics. 
She revealed that her gymnastics instructor in Warsaw physically abused her when she was 10 years old and kept doing it until she cut his throat one day. As she was just a kid, the police didn't send her to prison, but to a convent where she became a nun. Joey calms her down and drives her back to the church. As Christina talks to the senior nun, it is revealed that she has filled the Africa application and plans to continue her duties for the Valley Mission in Sierra Leone. When the senior nun inquires about the reason for leaving, Christina responds that Africa was always a part of her life plan. Moreover, she is finding too many distractions in London. Therefore, moving can help her concentrate. Joey keeps looking for Isabel's murderer and takes help from Mr. Choi's boss. When Joey tells about the guy's appearance, the boss responds that she knows the guy. However, she wants a favor for a favor. Mr. Choi's boss orders Joey to transport some enslaved people and refugees. After successfully finishing the job, Joey gets an invitation to a rooftop cocktail party to which Isabel's killer, Max Forrester, is also invited. While Max was beating another hooker, one of Mr. Choi's boss's employees stole Max's invitation from his coat and delivered it to Joey so he could find the guy. It turns out that the party, Maria Zelinska's farewell performance and Damon's arrival are on the same day, the 1st of October. The following day, Joey calls Christina and asks her for a favor. He wants her to take a photograph of him in a nice suit so his daughter can think of her dad as a nice person. While having coffee, Christina tells Joey that she's going to Africa, but before leaving, she wants to spend some time with him. As Christina and Joey are in the apartment together, owner Damon arrives and tries to open the door. When he notices that the door is locked inside, he peeks through a hole and finds a couple in the apartment. Before Damon can do anything, Christina and Joey run away from the place. Joey wants Christina to go with him as they have enough money to settle anywhere. Although Christina appreciates Joey's love, she wants to continue her services in Africa. After inviting Joey to the ballet tonight, Christina kisses him and leaves. While Christina bids a farewell to her team in London, we see Joey giving photographs to his daughter, who doesn't even know who he is. After delivering a bag full of cash to Don's apartment, Joey heads his way to attend the party so he can take revenge on Max. Christina waits for Joey at the building gate, but he doesn't show up, compelling Christina to watch the ballet performance alone. During the party, Joey finds Max and starts talking to him about business. Suspecting a danger, Max tries to run but gets caught by Joey, who later throws him from the building, resulting in his death. After taking alcohol from the party, Joey heads his way to the performance, but he gets too drunk to reach the building. On the other hand, the media has learned about Max's murder, and through the CCTV footage, they are accusing former Special Forces soldier Joseph Smith of it. After the performance, Christina finds drunken Joey lying beside the road. Christina gets upset after seeing Joey in this condition, but Joey wants to explain something. According to him, he is lethal when he is healthy and sober. Therefore, he drinks to weaken the machine the army has made. With tears in his eyes, Joey tells Christina a story about his stay in Afghanistan. As the enemy killed five of their soldiers, Joey decided to kill five of the enemy's men. He didn't pick the specific ones, but killed the first five he saw. When he left the father hanging and heard screams and shooting everywhere, he realized how vicious and brutal he had become. Ever since, he drinks to keep himself asleep so he can stay away from his bitter past. The following day, when Christina leaves for Africa, she gets a letter from Joey, who states that he has sent Damon the money he took from his account and has added some extra for rent. Moreover, as Joey has decided to be a good guy, he sent details of the people smugglers to the police. He knows this doesn't make him a good man, but he has tried to do the right thing. According to Joey, he was alive again for one summer and is glad he spent it with Christina. After wishing Christina good luck on her journey to Africa, Joey informs her that he will return to the streets again and disappear. The movie ends with Christina seeing Joey's photographs while we see special forces following him through their satellite camera in an effort to catch Joey. If you have already watched this movie, share your reviews with us in the comments below. Before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe.